Hey, what's up? Leron here. Thank you for joining me in another video painting process. This time we're gonna paint these abstract chickens. Okay, so uh, after doing a few more detailed videos and feeling like I want to do something fun for myself and let loose a bit, I decided to do this kind of a thing. So I'm painting based on a photo reference. You're gonna see everything, but my interpretation is very low resolution. Okay, remember this concept? Go low resolution and include only the bare minimum to get the point across and even go a bit into the abstract realm. So I hope you'll enjoy seeing something a little different. With that being said, let's jump into the process. So I will take a more impressionistic approach with this one. Um, I just feel like breaking some of the rigidity that I feel. So uh, the main point of interest is the chicken here. So we have that chicken and uh, its top part is somewhere around here. Bottom part somewhere around the bottom of the scene, obviously. The head's a little to the left. And I'm gonna try and get in some of these curves accurately. And then we have the tail, and because my paper is a little more tightly squeezed, I'm gonna try and fit everything in, but maybe just the tail is gonna be out. So something like this, and then that. This should be a little flatter. Hopefully that makes the shape of a chicken. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go a little looser here. Um, leg another leg like so um, we have this you know the chicken and, and the, some farming equipment basically so I'm gonna get the part that's probably where you put your leg to climb up on the tractor or whatever that is so I'm gonna put that in it has a few highlights something like this and I and I'm zooming in as you can see on the chicken here just to get it to fit better, maybe we will be able to see this thing running across. And we have another chicken right below that in the background and another one kind of here. Let's move this aside a bit and have the other chicken around here. Maybe a little lower. And this one, I kind of squeezed them together. Another one here. And again, going loose and kind of abstract with their shape. And hopefully the light and shadow will let uh, the viewer know what's going on here. I just need that after a couple of very serious scenes that I uh, painted. So yeah, uh, now we have a bit of a shadow here. It's kind of the cast shadow of one of the chicken, or it could be a cast shadow caused by something else. As it appears to be caused by a different chicken because it casts to the right. Um, and these also cast it right, and you can see by the shadow on the fur of the chicken that the, shadow, the light comes from the left. Um, we have another one here that I may not even end up including, but what I really care about is the highlights and where they are and where I'm gonna leave them. So let's figure that out. The rest is kind of going to be an even, fairly even wash. We have a highlight here for the tractor, uh, for the background behind the tractor. A bit of a highlight here. This I'm gonna ignore. A bit of a highlight here. The chicken, obviously. Uh, there's a shadow to the right, kind of like that, like this. I'm just going for a bit of a freer feeling here, really. And then a bit of a highlight on the tail. The face and the head, we have this, what do you call it? I have no idea, <laughs> honestly. Um, the eye. I'm not gonna need much to paint here because I'm going for a bit of a looser interpretation. Um, but hopefully that'll make sense. You know, when making these videos, I want to, on the one hand, I wanna provide you with, you know, valuable information and sometimes very detailed paintings and sometimes, you know, looser. But the thing is I have to make sure that, um, that I feel good about what I'm doing and I'm enjoying it. And right now, this is really what I need. So even if you were hoping maybe for more, uh, you know, detailed work, more realistic work, my apologies, but it's gonna be a different video for that because this time I really feel like I need that kind of a thing. So just, you know, you know hopefully you understand. I mean, you're very, you usually really understand where I'm coming from. So I just sometimes need um, to do things the way I wanna do them currently. Otherwise I just won't have the stamina to create. So 
<laughs> we're done with the initial um, drawing. Now here is where it gets really fun. Uh, I'm gonna just do an initial wash covering everything up but the highlights um, and I will focus on a lot of warm and cool variations. Um, so I'm gonna use mostly French ultramarine, some burnt sienna and maybe some other colors around it but I'm gonna keep it fairly clean for now. So we do have a highlight here that I want to keep so that's the corner of the page like that. Then there's a, a shadow here like this. There is a part of the shadow that cuts. So that goes like that. Here the tractor itself is red. It's on the red side. So what I'm gonna do, and again I'm covering everything by the highlights. I'm gonna start with this. That's blue. Like so. Then that's blue as well. I messed it up. It should be more to the left, but that's fine. We're Again, we're going for fairly loose interpretation here and then I'm going to switch quickly before this dries to the red and some burnt sienna and then we're going to put them here okay evenness here beats everything trumps everything it's the most important thing you want to get it to be even flowy let's get this in red let's go all around this highlight in red we're covering everything up this is really a mental shift you have to go through to be able to disregard almost everything you see, let's get rid of this highlight, I don't really need it. To be able to disregard everything you see and just paint around the highlights, it's a bit of a mental shift, uh, hopefully you'll be able to make it. A bit of the uh, burnt sienna here as we get to the chicken, uh, like so. And then we have the shadow on the chicken, like that. The rest is gonna stay white. I know this is a very, very loose interpretation of, of this scene. Like so, and we'll see how far we can take it with the looseness uh, and still have it read as, you know, the chicken and the, the details and whatnot, okay? That's, that's our challenge for today, to see how far we can take it and simplify and still get kind of an impression that's close to what we need. Now, the beautiful part about this way is that it may not look like anything right now, but at least we removed a lot of the pressure. Um, because the, the initial wash is really just that, you see? It's very simple. Uh, now we're gonna go above this, around uh, this highlight. And connect back to uh, the chicken's tail. <laughs> chickens are funny. And we're gonna get around this. Continue here. Now maybe I'll do some warm and cool plays and get the chicken to be a little cooler near the right side. So a little warmth here, then a little coolness near the bottom. Like so. Now here I have to be a little careful. Anything that's um, a highlight I have to skip because I'm really simplifying the light and shadow too. So um, let's see, here's a shadow. The legs are in the highlight the chicken legs. Um, this is a shadow going around the, this chicken here like that. It has a bit of red here as well. Let's do that already while we're here. Like so. Connecting. This leg's in the shadow. This one has a bit of a highlight on its left side. This is all in the shadow. Let's blue it up. Like so. Hmm. Now, you know what, that's a shadow too. Let's continue that way. And if it doesn't make sense to you right now, it shouldn't. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Don't worry about it. I'm holding the back on the brush really at the back, you know, um, really making a conscious effort to keep things simple for now. So again, don't worry if it doesn't look like much. So here we go. Now the legs, I'm gonna use them to drop some shadowy lines that will cut through the highlight and connect it to a shadow on the ground. So, like this. I kind of flipped the light and shadow from my initial thing. With watercolor you have to be able to sometimes react to what happens on paper and what I noticed is that it's just gonna look a little better if I go at it like this. Um, so I kind of flip the pattern, as you may have noticed. 
And a lot of what I'm doing shouldn't f make full sense to you, and that's fine right now because I'm going with my intuition and really trying to. I'm trying to create a painting that, if looked at from afar, will make sense, and if not, may not make sense. See, so um, this is what you get for these kinds of experiments. Here we go. And hopefully that makes sense. You get some sense of light and shadow, some, you know, the chicken. Um, the next step would be to first, obviously, allow this to dry. Uh, this I uh, messed up and should be a little darker. Like this, a bit of a shadow coming through around here. Uh, but in any case, yeah, uh, we're gonna let this obviously dry, then come back and add a mid value that's still fairly light, and we're pretty much gonna wrap it up with that, okay? So it's probably gonna be white, super light, and a mid value that's for the darkest shadows. We'll just go section by section and edit in, and basically hope for the best. And so we'll see what comes out of it. So I actually really love how this one's coming together. Now it's all about making this work the best. So I'm gonna add a couple of kind of random details, a quote unquote random, they're gonna be real. The goal here is to preserve that impression, that beauty, that sunshine, okay? So I'm gonna start working on this section here to the right, um, the same kind of manner in a fairly impressionistic way uh, to contrast with the colorful feeling we have right now. I'm actually gonna use quite muted colors for this, perhaps on the border of being a little uh, cool, but I'm not sure, we'll, we'll see. So. I'm gonna get started, this is fairly neutral, and I'm just gonna add that as shadow. So the shadow actually starts on this thing already. Um, so let's get that in, like so. Now notice how we have all the bolts and details here. I might as well add them now, um, just to give myself some kind of an, an organization in my head as to where everything is in this scene. Um, I think this will be left as it is, actually. So I'm gonna try and not touch anything that I can leave as it is, okay? I'm really going for something simplistic here. Um, I want to have that kind of a feeling, okay? Uh, so all around the details of the tractor, this connects here and it goes behind this kind of step. Um, and then if we continue over here, we're gonna have to paint our way around some highlights. So we have a small one here. Um, and these have to make sense in your mind and then if they do, then you'll be able to make them make sense in the painting itself. Um, so here we go. This is the red element you see there the, under the tractor, a part of the tractor. And this is the shape of the shadow taking place there. Um, there is a bit of the background seen through then we have the chicken that's fairly well lit. So I'm gonna paint around that. Here we go, like this. And I'm actually gonna go all the way down to the tail here. It's gonna close off our entire right section, you see, like this. And you have to work fast before it dries. Um, and again, it's one of those things where you do your best and if it works out, it works out and if it doesn't, then, you know, not too much to do about it. Here we go, a bit of a shadow on the chicken, a bit of a shadow here, then there's another chicken in the shadow. We can add a bit of warmth to that just to show, you know, it's the burnt sienna, it's fairly neutralized. Um, I do want to leave some highlights here um, around the, the face of the chicken. Let's go with that. I think that actually reads as a chicken, funny enough. Um, and then we have some shadows here and around the shape of uh, the tail. Probably something like uh, this here. The feathers, so I'm gonna cut through them like that. Just to bring in some differentiation here. Uh, and hopefully that'll make sense. Now we have a chicken behind this chicken. I'm actually gonna preserve this as the dark value here. So I'm gonna do the chicken in the background a little um, darker. And that'll bring out this chicken and maybe later I'll add some touches, kind of like we did, we did with the flutist where we we kept him quite light, okay? So this is a chicken, This there's a shadow underneath it, I'm gonna need to mix a bit more paint, so a bit more of the blue here perhaps, this goes down like that, connects with two legs, 
into the shadow. And now I'm kind of improvising. I'm, I'm kind of painting what I'm seeing, but not fully. Um, these are the things I will talk more about in my course and the, you know, uh, how to simplify. That's a course on the way. I talked to you about it. I took some of your advice on it. That's something I'll focus more on there. Okay. Now let's add another chicken legs here for um, an imagined chicken here. I'm starting to just do my own thing really. Now the top part here of this front chicken is a little darker. So let me go a little bit warm and dark here, like this, maybe even red, you know, a bit of red here I think will really work out. But then I'm gonna spread it out with some water, take care of this edge to uh, really convey, oops, touch the paint, you see that happens, I have to be careful. Um, and then establish this edge to really show that there are feathers here, see? Kind of a feather pattern. And also a couple of them here like this. See how the edges help to define uh, the texture, okay? That's a big one. Then I'm gonna go a little blue as we move to the right and have this kind of a gentle blend going from the darker to lighter. This is actually quite blue, but well, let's leave it at that. Now I'm gonna use pure red for the, here, a top of the chicken head. Probably should go a little lighter here. Uh, let's see what we got. It's strong, but still light. You see, like that. Um, a bit of a shadow for the eye, around the eye, rather. A bit of a thing here. And hopefully that already starts to look kind of chicken-ish. Um, so here we go. Now we have some shadows behind. Let's start defining those. Burnt Sienna, French Ultramarine. Um, this is, is going to be uh, cooler. And then I'm going to switch to warm as we get to more chicken. Um, so this should connect. I didn't connect it yet, but let's. it's okay. You see, this is definitely not going to blend in together. But I'm fine with that. A bit of machinery here. Some highlights showing through. Uh, this section is surprisingly red, actually. So let's take more red. I know I said I'm going to keep this a little cooler, but let's warm it up a bit. It's all a balancing act, really. Now, once I add that shadow in, this chicken is really going to make sense. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to paint my way around the other chicken. This chicken is actually quite dark, but I'm going to leave it as a highlight. Um, you know, as a right now, there is a highlight there. Uh, because I want to bring my own interpretation into the scene. I'm not going to just keep it as I see it 100%. I'm going to change some things around here. So that's, um, let's see here, chicken number one, chicken number two. You see how just you read the shapes, whatever you get will work. Let's add a bit of um, wet and wet here. It'll probably blend in nicely just to get a couple of more details and then a bit more shadows next to this big shadow. Just to bring out the feathery texture once again, kind of like we had with our swan in a previous video. Now I have to fix this shape, see? Go around the chicken and like so. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, next, these, let's go around this chicken right now. So we have this shadow here. Let's go a bit um, cooler for this one. And a bit lighter too. Hopefully that starts to make sense. It won't be, of course, I'm aiming for something that's fairly loose anyway, but at least it makes some kind of sense. Now this is a shadow behind that chicken, you see? So I'm darkening it up yet again. But I'm going around the legs here. Let's split this into two shadows. I don't know why, but let's try it out. That's one. Um, it goes like this and then the second chicken. But at this stage, I barely even recognize exactly where the chicken are, but I'm just trying to um, aim for something that works compositionally and you know makes some sense. Um, at some point, you stop looking at the reference photo and you start just looking at what you have on paper. And that's the point I'm at right now. Sometimes you don't stop till the very end because you really want to get everything accurately, but this is not one of these pieces. So here we go. 
like that. A bit of rocks, just random stuff. Shadow on the right side of these rocks, like this. Um, now, I do want to put in a shadow for this, the right side of this chicken. So let's do that, and then we can leave a nice little highlight for this blue or cooler color. And that will bring out this chicken as well. So again, edges. If you can get a bit of a, fairy, a feathery texture here, it could look nice too. Okay, so I'm just trying to not have this perfectly straight line, just jagged. And that will hopefully bring out some feathers in it, and then we have this kind of a shadow here under the chicken that I wasn't planning on putting, but now I am. This closes off like this. There is a bit of a shadow here on the chicken leg. There is a bit of a shadow there, probably cast by a different object, but let's put that in too. Here we're good. Um, I'm gonna add a couple of details on this thing here. I don't know why I feel like doing that. This should, by the way, connect, so I'm gonna go like this. This is a shadow that continues this structure, so here we go, and I'm gonna blend that edge in. And you see I'm not really perfectionist here in any way, shape, or form. All I care about is just making it look kind of like what I want it to be. Um, and if it works out in an abstract manner, I'm, I'm good with that. Here's again the red parts here. Um, if you can do that, um, you're, it's one step ahead, okay, and then you can bring in the details next and, and patch things up, but you really, I really want you to develop this ability to put in things very loosely, like that, you see, um, and, and have them make sense once you put in, a, you take a couple of steps back. Um, so, this should be a little darker, probably, this as well. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm kind of taking a step back and I'm thinking to myself, do I need to change stuff around? I actually will um, get a warm shadow here and go a little darker on the chicken on the left, like this. See? And I'll bring out the chicken on the right using it. Hopefully in a way that makes sense, this casts shadow on it. So not the most organized painting, that's for sure. But hopefully still one that reads as something. A bit of these. Like that. I'm gonna put in some coolness here. And if it still looks like nothing to you, I'm actually happy. Uh, I wanted to try and make this kind of a video. Um, being very loose and free, you know, after a couple of tighter works, just felt like I needed that, and um, even if the result doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, here, we're gonna put one more layer of shadow that's a little darker than what we put so far, because we have a chicken here, and we have a chicken here. So I'm gonna bring out these chickens' shape with a bit of a darker shadow. So here we go, like this, and you just imagine the shape of a chicken, and here we go, like this. For the beak and all the other details, we have another one here. And I think this is close to done. I'm actually tempted to finish this now. Um, just to tell myself that I was able to, you know. Um, let's put in a couple of these details in here. So here's what I think I'll do. I'm gonna let this rest for a while. And then I'm gonna take a look at it, see if anything, in my opinion, is missing, add that, and then we'll wrap it up. Probably just a few small touches, if anything at all. So I let it sit for a while, and I think I got a good grasp of what I need to change a bit. So this shadow, there's a bit of a lack of continuity, so I'm just gonna extend it over to here, like so. But I'll still keep this part fairly light so that the chicken reads a little better. Now, I do want to make the white highlights mean more. So I'm going to dumb down some areas that are currently white uh, with a bit of burnt sienna and yellow, I think. So for the ground, mostly. You see here? Just giving more meaning to um, these highlights because I'm making the ground a little less highlighted, okay? Now it gives it a bit more, shifts our focus to uh, a little upper. 
but it's still fairly light, so it still works. Um, I do want to do something similar with uh, this section here. I'm just gonna glaze a thin yellow layer on top of it. I don't know why I, it's missing for me here, and that'll give this highlight a little more meaning yet again. Um, this will go like that, uh, this one's definitely getting a little more muted, and this one too. And hopefully that just sets things a little better. And at this point I could probably start looking for more things uh, to change and add, but I don't want to, you know, I want to wrap this one up in a fairly loose manner. So I'm gonna stop here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one, I hope it makes sense to you. As long as I get one chicken in that kind of looks good, I'm happy to be quite frank with you. Um, you could start adding in some feathers and details, but I feel like at some point it's gonna be at the detriment of the impression I was after, so I'm gonna probably stop now. Just bring in, bringing in some more attention to this one, but now I think it's a good time to stop. And I'm just gonna let this dry for a few more moments, remove the tape, and then we'll wrap it up face to face. So it's fully dry now, let's remove the tape and look at the clean frame we got. Sometimes with abstracted paintings like this one, um, it does help a bit to pull them together a little better. And I find that with this one, it is true. Um, I really like how it turned out. And I just like the fact that I practiced creating something like this because it's very easy to just go into the comfort zone and keep doing the same thing. And I feel like this is a bit out of it, outside of it for me. There are things that pull me out of the comfort zone even more, but uh, that's a good way, a good step in the right direction. So now with that, we're gonna wrap it up face to face. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and seeing the chickens come to life together. Now, one more thing, if you wanna learn how to paint free loose watercolor like this, maybe even more detailed, be sure to check out my frustration free watercolor course. The link is always in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a like, that really helps give it uh, give it more publicity, put it in front of more people. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't. I have tons of other videos like this one. I wanna thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I will see you again in the next vid real soon.